All right. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm thrilled to be here today to present my vision for this project. I invite you to join my join me on this journey where functionality means beauty. My approach to this project is not just about creating spaces. It's about crafting experiences. Every room has its own personality, and I aim to capture that essence and elevate it to new heights. In my design, you'll find a harmonious blend of form and function where practical practicality meets aesthetic seamlessly. I meticulously curated every detail from the color palette to the furniture selection to ensure that each element contributes to the overall ambience I aim to achieve. But beyond the visual appeal, my design is rooted in purpose. I've considered the occupant's needs and preference creating stunning spaces. So my project is called Spanish Serenity and it's based on a bit Mediterranean design style. Um, this is just kind of a run through of what it's going to look like. So starting off with my client's profile, it's just a really, just a recap of what we did last semester. So Ramsey Show, she is a dance instructor slash environmental activist. Uh, Ramsey is a passionate dancer who believes in the power of art and dance to affect change. As the owner of a dance studio, she hosts monthly performances that raise over $10,000 exclusively for environmental causes. She sees art and nature as an interwined and seeks to use both positive impact to the environment. Ramsey is, a sociable, is sociable and enjoys sharing eco-friendly tips with others. She shops locally, maintains a small garden for essential greens, and seeks out sustainable products for her lifestyle. The expectations for the design was that she values both function and style, ex expecting sustainable items that fit her Mediterranean aesthetic, favoring deep blue, white, and tan colors. She desires indoor plants, furniture made of eco-friendly and raw materials, and a design that incorporates natural elements. Ramsey prioritized sustainability, seeking a passive solar design, eco paints to reduce air reduce indoor air pollution, water filters that avoid microplastics, and CFL bulbs for lighting. Uh, natural lighting is key, supplemented by iron chandeliers, lanterns, and wall scones with CF CFL, CFL bulbs. She requests skylights for brightness and ventilation. Uh, Ramsey also prefers geometric patterns in mosaic tiles and large, larger rugs with vibrant colors balanced to avoid overpowering the design. So it's just a recap of what uh, my client Ramsey wanted. So she's really earthy, just really on the more um, raw natural colors that we know as earthy colors. So this is uh, my floor plan, which I'm actually going to, there you go. So um, give me one second. So this floor plan is a spacious first floor plan spanning 5,993.8 square feet. So it's a little bit on the bigger side. You're good. <laughs> so it's more like a Spanish villa, you know. Uh, that was my inspiration more than anything. And you'll see that during um, the mood board that I created at the end. But for right now, this is what I have. Uh, you'll find a direct view of the cozy living room. So as soon as you walk in, this you're greeted with the living room up here. Um, I did went ahead and added the furniture for that as well. I know for the main thing, we're supposed to be concentrated on the bathroom and the restroom, but I really thought about this and I wanted to really emphasize on the overall vision of the whole entirety of the design. Um, so as soon as you walk in, you're uh, greeted with the cozy living room where Ramsey can relax or entertain guests. Next to it, it's the dining room filled with natural light from skylights above, creating a bright and airy atmosphere. So Ramsey did ask for skylights and just for the purpose of ventilation, but it also suits her aesthetic. So right over here, as soon as you walk in, you're greeted with the dining room right over here. Uh, these three panels are the skylights, and I really just wanted to concentrate it on the dining room because it is where she spends most of her time, uh, kitchen slash dining room. Uh, also, the kitchen has plenty of room for preparing delicious meals. The master bedroom offers a peaceful retreat complemented with the bathroom for added privacy. There's also another restroom nearby for convenience. So this is mainly a guest room, uh, and that's why I chose to leave the restroom in there and add a different one, so the bathroom and the toilet. 
Um, so as soon as you walk in, I mainly designed it as soon as you walk in for the simple purpose of convenience for the guest, because obviously you don't want everyone to hear your best and twice you're there. So uh, you walk into the restroom and you this right here is a big window. It's not ideal when it comes to a bathroom to have a huge window in the entrance, but for that same reason, I decided this right here are like brick glass and like frosted brick glass and this right here in the front is bamboo so I mainly added that just so it, there won't be like a huge view into the toilet area right over here but if you're just a guest over and you're just like hanging out with Ramsey you'll walk in straight and you'll take the hallway right over here and this is just a little toilet where it has your stable toilet in your washroom uh, Ramsey loves to dance and practice yoga, so there's a dedicated studio space where Ramsey can let loose and express herself. So uh, that, ideally, for any other person, will be uh, office space. But in this case, since she's a dancer, she does need the space to practice and just work on a lot of stuff. So that's why I just named this as a functional room. Therefore, it's used mainly for a dance room. And it does have a little closet just in case she needs to store absolutely anything. Outside, a patio awaits where Ramsey can soak up the sun and enjoy fresh air. And don't forget about the spacious garage, perfect for storing vehicle and just outdoor equipment. So right out here, I just have a small little patio. Uh, this right over here are green areas where she plants her natural um, greens like carrots and whatnot. Uh, there is, she's really a sociable person. So for obvious reasons, there's going to be uh, just furniture, outdoor furniture, where she can enjoy that uh, with her friends. And then the garage over here is just ideal for like two cars. But in this case, I only added one. With uh, plenty of windows throughout the floor plan, natural light floods the space, creating a warm and welcoming atmosphere. Combined with skylights in the dining room and extended hallways, this floor plan is bathed in sunlight, making it a bright and pure, cheerful place to call home. Her expectations was a lot of light, a lot of natural light she wanted to use at almost no um, bulbs. So that's why there's so many gigantic windows like right here, right over there. Even the garage has, uh, the garage has windows. Around that side, the hallway has windows. There's windows everywhere, uh, which is really good for the specific requirements that I was getting for my client. Alrighty, and then I also have this in colored version so as you can see you're able to see more of the vision I was trying to project so like that really just browns uh, just really on more the warm tone of colors and I would like to think this fits exactly what she was asking for uh, I do have more information about that so I'm just gonna go ahead and go over here also at this side you can also see the skylights I was talking about it's just overall just creates a great 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 aesthetic on there this is the elevations that I have and this is the ones I also submitted for the mood board so at oops. okay so okay so that's one. Uh, this is going to be the frosted glass that I was talking to you guys about. Uh, overall, if someone were to be out there, there's no way that they're going to have a straight view to the toilet because of this. There's also the bamboo on this side, which creates a great atmosphere. Um, so I also have another rendered image, which is this one, personally my favorite. So at the heart of a room sits a majestic raw wood dining table, generously sized to accommodate gatherings up to eight people. Surrounding the tables are chairs adorned with floor pattern upholstery, infusing the room with a touch of femininity. Beneath terracotta-like flooring adds a rich earthy hue, grounding the room with its warm tones and inviting texture. And the natural beauty of the flooring serves as a perfect complement to the raw wood table, creating cohesive aesthetics that delights the senses. And then above, a wick-like chandelier suspended gracefully above the table, emitting soft warm toned light. It, it casts a gentle glow over the space, creating an intimate and inviting atmosphere. And then adorning the walls are three striped abstract paintings, each featuring a harmonious blend 
of blue and white hues. The perfect complement the complement the client's desired color palette. Their bold strikes and dynamic compositions add a touch of modern and sophistication to the room, creating an activating focal point that sparks conversation and ignites the imagination. With its perfect balance of rustic charm and artistic elegance, the dining room is a true feast of senses. All right. And then I do have my specifications right over here. Uh, for this one, I wanted to point out specifically the fridge. The specifications were more about the all the cabinets and all that, but I just wanted to really, really emphasize on this specific fridge. The reason I wanted to emphasize on that is because of meter environmental requirements. This is a CBS 2092 fridge from Lipper. So nowadays, it's almost impossible to not leave a carbon footprint behind. However, that doesn't mean that there aren't ways to make smart environmental decisions. For this example, this eco-friendly French door refrigerator from Liper. Liper is a German firm that specializes in eco-friendly appliances. It has an average energy consumption of 550 kilowatts per year. And when it comes to power, powder coating its steel, Liper goes green. They do not use solvents while finishing their sheet metals and the heat gener generated through manufacturing is reused as heating energy for the offices and production facilities. They also identify the plastic components and the products guarantee simple and effective recycling. And other manufacturing facilities are certified to ISO 9001 and ISO 14001, which are both, in both industry standards for environmental management. So overall, this fridge is ideal for any eco-friendly home especially for uh, Ramsey's home. And then you can also see a little bit more on here about the kitchen. That is like the, the mosaic tiles are blue and white. That's mainly what she wanted. That's what we gave her. And like I said, more big windows all the way around. Lastly, I do have my mood board, my concept board. So this is a little bit of what I was inspired by. I was mainly inspired by this one right here. And I sort of kind of recreated it in my design using this table and then this version black rug. Uh, there is also some other things I was inspired a lot by the color palette of this specific image. So as you can see, everything's really raw. Everything's really just organic materials. Uh, you can tell the, the, the wick chandelier I reused on this one right here, which is for the dining room. Uh, you get a closer view also of the furniture that I decided to use for for my elevations. Uh, I did go ahead, went ahead and included some of the appliances and just lamps and things that I used around the design, not only on the dining room or the restroom elevation that I showed you, but also just around. So mainly all of this is just what I went for or what I was trying to create. On this other side, you are also able to see the materials that I decided to use as well as the color palette. Uh, it was really, really hard trying to figure out the color palette for this specifically because a lot of people don't tend to mix warm colors with cool colors because it just doesn't complement each other. But I do believe there's some ways to go around it and make a perfect mixture of that. So for the materials, there is carpet in the in the bedroom so that's why i included that up there and then there is the wood flooring as well throughout the studio room and then mostly i just use the terracotta like tile around the whole entire design because like i said i really wanted to emphasize on the spanish style uh, along with that i also wanted to include a little bit of the um, decorations around so like I said I really concentrated on using raw materials for this so you can see this that all of that it, that's all decor um, probably the hardest thing for this project was putting it all together I had a lot of ideas and I had a lot of colors going in and out of my brain and I'm really glad I stuck with these um, Overall, I am really proud of what I designed and how I was able to complement each color in each furniture and appliance that I decided to use within 
the space. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it for my design for today. Does anyone have any questions for me? What program did you use for elevation? I use floor planner. Really good. Thank you. If y'all want a free thing to use, floor planner is the way to go.